Have y'all ever had this body armor? Are we gonna try it? What are we doing? Are we gonna try it? We're gonna try it? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Orange mango. I mean, anyways, roll the clip. Peeps up and down the city. I don't try to come for me. Hey. What's up, losers? Welcome back to another Every Freaking Wednesday. Welcome back to Nellyville. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big, fat, thick thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video, darling. So before we get into the drama, before we get into the tea, have we tried this? Seriously, um, let's give it a taste. I've, I've had these before, but I don't know if I had this flavor. It is a, it's a super drink, whatever, whatever that means. I guess if you're trying to stop drinking pop or juice or something or, you know, and you're trying to get away, maybe you're a little bored of water, maybe try this. Also, I'm not a health expert. This might be worse than pop or juice. I don't really drink pop anymore. But anyway, so let's get this open. Let's smell her first. Let's see. Okay, she's fresh. She's fresh. I'm definitely getting even amounts of orange, even amounts of mango. She comes in different flavors, so if orange mango isn't your vibe. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, I'm living. I'm living for Miss Orange Mango. She says no colors from artificial sources. 10% coconut water and I definitely I'm feeling the coconut water. That's why I like these because it's like you know how you drink like Powerade, Gatorade or some of the other like kind of more like the workout drinks and they taste kind of like watered down. Watered down juice or watered down Kool-Aid. She's, she's giving a little bit of fullness. She's not like sugary. She doesn't taste artificial. So Body Armor, sponsor me. I definitely I recommend. This is not a review channel, and this is not why y'all are here. Uh, first of all, also excuse my messy office, whatever. Anyways, I just want to get on here and talk about Miss Jaclyn Hill really quickly and just kind of throw in my two cents that nobody ever asked for. Okay, so Miss Jaclyn Hill, we've talked about her before on this channel. Here she is. Beauty guru has her own makeup line, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so what what it is, let me just get right to it. She came out with a video uh, a couple days ago addressing just kind of some things that have been going on with her just across the internet. She wanted to come out and talk about a body image and just kind of some of the things that have been said to her as of late. In the video, while she is talking about just kind of the, these cruel, these really kind of jacked up cruel things that people have been saying to her, she was also kind of doing a makeup tutorial with her own makeup line. Just weight gain and inflammation, but that's what it is. Get over it. This is not filler. I do not want to have a big swollen looking face, but that's just where it is. I gained weight, guys. Like, I really will give you like a before and after picture of how much weight I gained. I see people say like, it makes no sense. Her face is so huge and her body's not. Guys, I have put on almost 40 pounds in the last couple of years. Let me show you my body right now, okay? Do you see? This is who, this is who I am right now. This is not an IG Instagram baddie body. I really don't have a waist right now. I'm not super happy with this, but this is who I am right now. And that's okay. It doesn't bother me. Why the f does it bother you? That's all I want to know. Why do I have to be called fat? Why do I have to be called swollen? Why do I have to be called a pig? Why do I have to be called ugly? Like, can you just let my ass be happy? And let me just go back to saying, I'm gonna go in with my palette. Miss Jacqueline Hill, has, she's become a thick woman. She's she's getting a little weight, but she she looks she looks good. Ain't nothing wrong with being the big is beautiful. Okay, she she still looks sickening. She still looks good. She looks great. You know, some people when they gain weight, a lot of it goes to the face, right? She's one of those people where a lot of her weight goes to the face. And you can you can really tell. Some people can film from up here or take pictures from up here, and they still kind of look thin. And she, you can see she she's she's got a nice, cute little round face. We love at the house. People keep saying, "Why is she putting all this filler in her face? 
Why is she feeling her whole face? How, how plump does she want her cheeks to be? It's like, look. First of all, everybody need to mind their damn business. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop body shaming people. You know what I mean? So anyways. She, so she makes this video. It's very dramatic. She's crying. Baby girl's hurt. Anyway, so she gets on. She gets playing. She was like, look. This is me now. I, I, I Look. I'm not putting filler and all this other stuff in my in my face. She's had like a little bit of filler, but like she didn't feel her face to make it big. She was like, y'all, it's not just my face, it's my whole body. She was like, I'm, I, I've been put on, put on a lot of weight over the last two years and that's just what it is. She's like, I'm comfortable with my body. I'm gonna need for y'all to be comfortable with it too. Some people feel like she's not really that bothered by the the rumors and the people body shaming her and people call making fun of her for, for, for get, getting, a, getting a little thicker. Some people think this was just all dramatized so she could promote her makeup. That's one scenario. On the other side, other people are saying, baby, you've been on the internet for very, very long. You, you know how this works. You know how this works. The girls are bitter boots. They're going to talk about you. They're going to make fun of you. If you're going to be sensitive, you need to get off of the internet. You need to get off the socials. Because somebody's always going to have something to say. And sh she's been around long enough that, baby, you know everybody's going to be making fun of you. So, why get on camera and crying and, and you be, be all hurt about it? Look, it always hurts your feelings when somebody's saying something about you. It does. And I'm not saying that she doesn't have a right to be hurt. I'm just saying the internet and being a public person it is not for everybody. It does take a toll to constantly have negative comments and negative words thrown at you and people judging your body. And we all know women get judged harder. And there's a lot of women on women crime. Most of the people in our little comments is probably either kids or bitter, jealous as women. Let's just be honest. To me, she looks great. I think she knows she looks great. I don't know if it was a publicity stunt or not. She seemed like she was sincere in the video. I do think that it has hurt her feelings. It just, it, you know, it, I could, I could see it either way. What do you? Thing. You think it's just, you think she could just really just don't give a damn and this was a way to kind of promote the makeup? Or do you think that she was just being vulnerable and kind of starting a conversation and opening up a dialogue to kind of embrace positive body image just across before everybody, no matter what the body image is? And just kind of say, hey, look, we gain weight, we lose weight, we grow older, we look different. You know, I, I, I think it, I think it's I think it's both. This is this is just what I think. I think that she was sincere and being vulnerable in how she felt. I think that she really is hurt. And I but I think she didn't want to just get on the internet and just cry and make a crying video. And I think that she wanted to tie something positive into it. And that's where also here's my makeup. Like I think that's where it came in. I don't think she was promoting like that because honestly her makeup's already selling well. And I mean, Jack Leo kind of promotes herself, honey. She's doing great. Last element that I want to add on to this, Jeffree Star, Miss Jeffree Star, uh, who, you know, was in a car accident is, is doing well, but that's a, the, 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 we're not getting into that right now. He's doing well. Jeffree Star reacted to Miss Jack Hill's video and was very emotional. A lot of people are like, oh, why does he have to insert himself? Like, why is he, like, what is he doing? I, I don't think that he was being malicious. I don't think he was trying to insert himself by reacting. Um, he was he was emotional. He was crying. He was like, oh my gosh, Jack, I'm so sorry that, you know, that you're going through this. And, and uh, everybody, let's just be kind to each other. Go watch her video. Go support. I think that his emotions were genuine because he is no stranger to ridicule. People have called, I've seen that man be called everything. Things that I will not repeat on this channel and I think that him being another top influencer and constantly being the brunt of a joke and constantly caught all these types of names and being just kind of just beat down by the thousands I, I think that he really personally related to her and I feel like he she I think he really felt that connection just sitting here me personally like watching this i know this is so random but go watch jacqueline's new video that was a good video she's so real good she is and she's definitely speaking on a lot of um, a lot of sh I can jacqueline you're beautiful so i'm sorry that people are so awful i'm so sorry i don't understand did you guys like that she 
has had so much success for and me. she had such a horrible loss. Like people revel in people's pain. They and really I'm just do so though. Oh, they do. Tired of seeing other people sad. And I'm so sorry what people have said about you, Jacqueline. I'm so sorry. I yeah, people you. are disgusting. I'm so happy that your brand is here and you're back and you're beautiful. It doesn't matter your size. So you guys, if you want to check out her video, please swipe up. I like that not only Jeffrey, but a lot of other influencers kind of spread some positivity to Miss Jacqueline Hill. And I think that a good dialogue got started. So anyways, let me know what you think about all that drama. And if you watched the Jacqueline Hill video, let me know what you think about it. Or well, let, let me know, let, let, just let me know what y'all think about all of that. Do you think Jeffrey was just inserting himself for attention? Do you think Jacqueline's looking for attention? Y you know, what do you, what, just let me know what you think. What, what, what you gonna cook for dinner tonight? Oh, whatever, just leave me a little comment. Go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big fat thick thumbs up. Don't forget to click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.